A mission always looks impossible when you don't understand the vision. Be a vision carrier and you will lead the mission. Those words are the driving force behind the exemplary leadership that defines my guests. And on that note, I welcome you to know your representative, the program that bridges the visible gap between lawmakers and their constituents. I am Maria Olashende. But first, let's meet my guest, Honorable Ahmed Danyabu Safana, representing Batsari Damusa Safana Federal Constituency, Katsina State, in the House of Representatives. Honorable Ahmed Danyabo Safana was born on June the 16th, 1960. He attended Safana Primary School between 1967 to 1973, Katsina Teachers College between 1973 to 1978. In 1996, he studied Advanced Diploma Management Studies from the Osman Danford University. He was a councillor for Safana Local Government, Vice Chairman Safana Local Government, two-term Chairman Safana Local Government. In 2007 to 2008, he was made the Chief Whip Katsina State House of Assembly. Honorable Ahmed Danyabo Safana, a third-term member in the House of Representatives, came to National Assembly under the People's Democratic Party, PDP, between 2008 to 2011, after which he was re-elected by his constituents from 2015 till date to represent the good people of Batsari, Damusa, and Safana Federal Constituency at the National Assembly under the platform of the All Progressives Congress. His legislative interest borders on oversight, preliminary deliberation, and contribution. Honorable Ahmed Danya Safana is the Chairman House Committee on AIDS, Loans, and Debt Management and belongs to the following committee in the House of Representatives, Finance, National Planning and Economic Development, Solid Minerals, Ecological, Local Content, Science, and Technology. Is a proud member of the All Progressives Congress and is happily married with children and grandchildren. His favorite quote is, Inshallah. <music> Batsari, Dan Musa, and Safana local governments are among the eight frontline local governments of Katsina State, and they are all bordering the famous Rugu Forest that link the states to parts of Zamfara and Kaduna states. Over the last two years, various issues concerning banditry, kidnappings, and cattle rusting have been reported from the area, which has led to loss of lives and properties. Honorable Ahmed Danya Safana has facilitated schools, solar lights, water boreholes, science laboratories, empowerment, and skill acquisition to his constituency despite the fact that some parts of this local government are still not secured from bandit attacks, considering the various missions of both the state and federal governments to these areas. Farming activities have been seriously affected by this problem of insecurity, and life has become very difficult for the people who are still relocating to safer places. Know your representative on an assessment 12, Honorable Ahmed Safana's constituency project spoke to some of his constituents. Muna gode a gare shi dan majalisan da ya kawo mu wannan cigaba saboda a dan muna zauna akan seat one da suke ba suna da matsaloli sosai wannan zai jawo zai ji hankalin dalibi wurin darasi ko ana yi hankalin shi na wurin seat din kada ya samu matsala amma yanzu cikin ikon Allah mun samu cigaba an samu sabbin seat wanda lafiya da darasi na ta haya Kumilafia <laughs> a takeice dai an fara shi kusan wata shida kenan da ya wuce suna turo mun fishan domin a taimaka musu da magungunna kamar na typhoid ko malaria da ma na ciwon shuga da aka karo mana yanzu ana ta badawa kuma mutane suna amfana sosai alhamdulillah a kamar dai yanzu ne yadda muke nan gaban wannan class a wannan wakili namu shi ya gina shi Ahmad Dayibu safana 
shi ya gina wannan kuma ire ire wannan ginin a cikin wannan constituency to yayi ya gina islamiyoyi a safa na local government ya gina classroom a irin wannan makaranta ta gaba da primary ya kuma gina dakunan jarabawa a ba tsari da safa na da Musa in ka tafi wajen bangaren ruwan sha wannan abin ya kai inda ya kai tunda don duk bayan wata shida sai ya turo an gina mu al'umma ta rijiyoyi na burtsatse da sololi wadanda kasancewa ta na shugaban jam'iya har sai na lunwasa ko kuma da sai na dauko list nake iya ambata yawan riyojin da yayi mu al'umma da wannan motar ga ginin shi ya sai mu ita ba karamu ko ba tsarta sai mu ita ba ba wani mai kudi na garin ne sai mu ita ba shi wannan da kai wada shi ya ba mu wannan motar ba haka ya ba mu babura wanda muke amfani da su kan wannan harkai to gaskiya lamari samu su mun ci gaba da jin kwarin guya aikin saboda samu su ne har ma muke wasu abubuwan da da can ba mu iya amma samu su ya zama na muna yi ko ina aka kira mu zamu iya zuwa mu kai dauki inda kamar inda ya hakan da ana samun yin hakan ai kaga wani abin da bai faru ba kamar yanzu kaga motocin nan su ne suke taimaka mu to da Allah ya sa akwai kari dole ne mu samu kwarin guya muna irin raba su wannan su ne wannan su ne wannan su wannan su ne to amma yanzu ya zama ne cewa sai an dawo daga wani uri a ce wani uri kuma ko me ya faru yanzu mu ne ake kira ba za a kira wasu ba sannan bayan haka kuma duk watan duniya wannan motar da na ga mu ya sai mu wallahi yana turo mata kudi na mai wanda za a sayi mai aikin al'umma duk wadda ya yake aikuwa duk watan duniya shi dai ubangiji Allah ya kara mai kwarin guya ya kara mu ya bashi kuma duk abin da yake nema na alkhairi kamar yanda muka yana taimakawa Allah ya kare mai bashi kokarin yin wannan taimako da yake Allah kuma ya jaji zamanin shi duk abin da yake neman duniya Allah ubangiji ya bashi duniya da lahira Welcome back and if you're just joining us the program is still know your representative and this is the interview segment. I have here with me the lawmaker representing Batsari Damusa Safana Federal Constituency, Katsina State in the House of Representatives, Honorable Ahmed Danyabu Safana. Honorable, you're welcome to New Representative. Thank you. Thank you very much sir, for having us. Let's start this with what was growing up like compared to what you have then and what we have now. Yeah, naturally there should be some differences. Okay. 60 years back is not a joke. Then when we were youth, I don't think there was this security predicaments. Yes, sir. We travel anywhere, anytime, without fear, and you associate with everybody as long as it's a Nigerian. You don't have any fear of maybe hatred as it is today. For me as a representative now to go to my constituency, I'm, I'm full of uh, uh, fears mm. and uh, sometimes when something happens in my constituency I cannot even go directly to either condole the people if it is death or to greet my people. I go with fear. I have to go under maybe tight security without even people knowing that I'm coming. First and foremost, you're here because your people brought you here. Mm -hmm. So what do you think needs to be done so that you can have a better relationship with your people? You may recall, severally, the House of Representatives went to the extent of even inviting the, all the army chiefs, trying to identify what is the problem and what is causing the lack of insecurity, despite the uh, huge sum of money that is being allocated to the security agencies everywhere in the budget. But uh, all the time when the interaction is done, what is requested is always given to them. Mm -hmm. But surprisingly, when you go down there to the field, much is not done. Because when there is any attack, for instance now in my constituency, from, to any village, I always have a phone call from my constituents telling me that this is what is happening, no matter how late in the night. And uh, I sometimes try to reach out the security agencies attached to that area and you find out that they will answer, some will answer you that they are trying to go there because the, 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 the criminals cannot go to where they know there are 
security personnel. They always try to beat them. So if we will call the security personnel and tell them that this is what is happening or is about to happen in those old villages, some will strike and make a move mm. to go. But honestly speaking, in most cases, before they even reach the village, the criminals might have done what they want to do and left. In my own opinion, mm. what I think will solve this problem or will rather reduce the problem is the state police issue. So let's talk about education. You built schools for your people. What informed it? If we can be able to improve in the education sector, that, that could minimize this high level of crime. That's why I decided, even as a representative, I tried to use whatever little income I get to improve on the area of education. I suppose uh, your people who are in my constituency, they could be able to testify on things I did. Yes. Apart from construction of uh, uh, schools. schools or uh, examination halls, I also try to construct uh, tables and chairs, chairs yes. for, for the students because I, there couldn't be any uh, uh, learning environment convenient without those tools like chairs and the, and the table. So I try to also support most of the community secondary schools in my constituency by sponsoring the teachers. I give them allowances monthly mm -hmm. from my own pocket. Mm -hmm. So I think I did that with good intention so that at least I, I will be convinced that I gave my own cutter, mm -hmm. my own contribution towards education, which I feel, if supported fully, can be able to change things for better. Mm -hmm. Just recently, I launched a program by selecting 20 uh, children from each of my local governments. Uh, that is, I selected 60 children okay. who are from, who are just like opens. Mm. 30 out of them, I'm sponsoring them from JS1 to JS3. Oh. 30 out of them, I will sponsor them from SS1 to SS3. To SS3. And actually, this I intend to be doing Regular. continuously, whether I'm in office or not. Oh, no. oh, and honestly, uh, that is one of the most important projects that gives me joy, joy. Mm. in my life. Mm. Because I selected these people from the less privileged. Mm. And I scouted to get them admission from the, uh, the government mm. school. And uh, I intended to be sponsoring them with their pocket money. Whatever a student would need from his father, mm. I'm ready to do it. As and, long as uh, they are ready to go to school. As long as they are ready to go to school. Let's talk about health. Yeah, health is another sector that is very critical. And uh, honestly speaking, because of this mandatory issue in my constituency, I realized that... Uh, most of uh, the affected uh, people decide to migrate from mostly from the, the remotest area to a more better uh, rural area. Yes. And uh, for that reason, you find out that uh, they come back to where they are with a lot of their children. Mm. So you, you find out that every day, there are cases of uh, malaria, typhoid, and all those small, small sickness. And eventually, you find out that people that are looking for food to eat even, how will they get money to buy medicine? Because they have left their main, main uh, station. They have migrated now as IDPs. Looking for a better life. They're looking for a better life. So when I sat down 
I decided for an, in the last eight months now, I decided to create a, a program monthly by providing uh, a, a minimum of 150 uh, dosage of drugs okay. in each local government. Oh. Not only local government, in each of my district heads. Okay. I have six district heads. Right. In every local government, we have two district heads. Mm. So in every district head town, there is a primary health center. Mm. So I decided now to open a, 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 an office. Okay. Just my own office. I employ the services of a, a, a professional mm. who is staying there. So I buy drugs mm. every month for, that will treat 150 people. Mm. In, in this district, 150, in this district, 150. So I give at least 900 people drugs every month for the last eight months. Mm. And this I intend to continue doing. Mm. Even right now, I think I have a constituent uh, girl who is with the National Hospital. Mm. Though before I knew it, some NGOs brought her down. But they decided to communicate to me, and I went and visited her, and I'm giving all my necessary support mm -hmm. to her. So in the area of health, I'm also doing the best I can. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, beautiful. But what is important is your direct intervention mm -hmm. to, the to the people affected. Mm -hmm. So what's your relationship with you between you and your constituents? I have very good understanding with them. But you know, in politics, you cannot be 100%. Yes. Well, sometimes you do your best, and that best would not be enough. Mm -hmm. But what is important Question. is you have the majority mm -hmm. saying thank you. thank you. You don't expect everybody to say he's pleased with you. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is in politics. It can never happen. Mm -hmm. So I, I, am, I don't think I have much problem with my constituents. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, do you think the state government, you have a good relationship with your, your state governor? Yeah, we are the same party, same ABC, party. ABC. Mm. Yes. So, do you think they are doing enough? Of course. To cop the insecurity in your area? They are doing enough in the sense that they are also giving out all the necessary logistics. Mm. They are required to give the security personnel. Considering the state of the president. Yeah. You know, even if it is the state of the president, what the state government can only do is give, to give a logistic support mm -hmm. to the security personnel, which I believe they are doing. I'm very much aware they are doing doing their best. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure my governor also, in fact, is not anything hidden. Mm -hmm. That he started amnesty with these people. He did the first time, did the second time. They all betrayed the am amnesty. The amnesty yeah. Before he now said, okay, fire for fire. So he is doing a lot. And I think there is no government on earth that will love its people to be in the mess they are today, mm. unless if such thing has overpowered them. Mm. So I'm sure my government is doing a lot. So do you have plans for widows? Widows? Yes, sir. Of course, of course. Right now I have a, I have a program I'm planning because I have a record of all the, the widows, most of the widows that are lost their husbands mm -hmm. eh, during this mandatory mm -hmm. program. So I have I have a, a list of over 1,000, I think 700 or so mm -hmm. that I kept in my house. In this 21 budget, mm -hmm. there is money I set aside okay. to assist them. Mm -hmm. And when the time comes... That's under the zona intervention yeah, project? Yes. I, I'm sure you will you'll be able, uh, I will even invite you when you are going yes. to disburse the money. Mm. You, you, we, are, we have a serious plan for them mm. to give them motivation and support mm. so that they will feel at least they are part of the society. Mm. Because what we intend doing to them, we believe will support them by giving them a chance to maybe do one thing or the other mm. that will earn them living. Mm. We have that plan. So what about unemployment? Everybody knows the unemployment problem in this country. We have a lot of graduates looking for jobs. 
And uh, whenever a budget is brought to the National Assembly, you hear there is embargo, embargo mm -hmm. on employment. Right. So wherever there is employment opportunity, at the same time, uh, thank God, because of this federal character issue, uh, everybody will have to apply. Mm -hmm. And based on your qualification and your performance, is when you get the employment. I quite agree with the fact that sometimes influence can make someone have, have it, while other one will not have it. But honestly speaking, I've been doing my best in seeing that yeah, I, I, I employ those I can, the little offer I can get. Mm. But above all, I try to empower the youth mm by giving them uh, training. I could remember I did about four to five training since I came to the National Assembly. And uh, there was a time I tried to support the youth after the training, youth and women. Mm. Sometimes there was a time I finished training the youth, I gave them support of 50, 50,000. As startups? Uh, yes. The training was on what? On computer, okay. IT. Uh, IT, yes, IT, and I gave each one of them a computer, a computer set mm. with 50,000. I also gave a training to uh, some women on some skills mm. on how to make some things that will keep them busy, busy okay. and make them earn, what, uh, earn a living. I also gave them 30, 30,000. I think I cannot remember all, mm. but I've been trying that and I'm always doing it. Mm. So on this segment, uh, you get to speak with your people in your local dialects. You know when you go to uh, Basari, Safana, Frederick Constituency, we don't speak in English. To Jamaa Salaam Alaikum. To. I don't to say anything. I don't want to say anything. Kamae de Nepal baani de turanchi bangare ilimi na baishu mahimanchi kare de gaske sabo de ina gadinchu wa abu bundi ke palwa na harka relations alu a akasana de kuma mazabata mahimi watu imba harka ilimi na akak ala makaribiba abu bundi sana ya ala tapala paliwa. Donga kishia sa gorgodong abende niki samu na iku kari intella fama ilimi takapopi da dama. Baya wana wangara nkiwa laipia. Ina kukari wajanga ninchoa asibito tada sakalala che angegea rasu. Gorgodong abende miki ya. Duka kanana wukubo mina ngoda wa uku. Suna da hakimwe ngoda shida. Kumukuo na hakimi garishi akwe asibiti. Sabo da haka nikili kala kei magunguna kala na zazabi malaria da kuma typhoid. Na muta aneta lida hamsanga msungu kuhu che masalota haikimi. Kuma wanda muyo mwenye wata takwa siki na muna yu wanda kuma isha Allah wadha mchenga bada hii. Maana muna ba al umma alitara da gawanda mkonstituensi magunguna Masasara chua nkei chua nzazep in typhoid. Sabo da haka wana in Allah da dhamu chika bada hii kwa muna obes kuma kwa wama obes. Haka kama hedo kuka gani kunza gaya chika mazapata kunga akwe shili na baya da ronsha da haka hii akwe pompo na tuka tuka Masudama da aka kaimu muta ni da usu shalu haas al kakaki. Sanna mwenke luong pompu. Maya mpani da uta haska nanteka. Ma uta lana. Haska lana. Kusanku ina achikin. Local government ina uku. Ina jing kusang mwenye ilu mwa anna uku uku ako wacha local government. Shia saa ndaka ako yi magana gyalan saari muliki da aki chiki. Naka saa. Kuma insha Allah wa mbada ya kagudu mwamu Mugachi wa lalai Duk abanda chanji nda za akawo Chanji ni wanda zeti ya maki Al umumu ya kawo mwa kumakasamu za malahia Salamu alaikum
on good is that mm. so i've been speaking with the lawmaker representing batsari dan mm. musa safana federal constituency katsina state in the house of representatives honorable ahmed danyabu safana thank you honorable for coming on know your representative thank you very much well And that's our package for today. Let's do this again same time next week as I bring you another lawmaker who has impacted positively in the lives of his constituents at the grassroots level. For missed episodes, you can watch on our YouTube page, Mabeish TV. Thanks for watching. I am Maria Olashende. Stay safe. <laughs>